Seven five was the score in that one. <laughs> yeah. Herbert rolling, looking, and fires across the middle over the outstretched hands of Brian Addison. Watching knows that they have a defense, not just a defensive line, but they know that they have secondary people that can blanket you, and it frees up Kevin. Got to hurry. On the edge. And swarmed and dropped right there. Is a little tighter this time in coverage. Got an inexperienced back in there. He steps up. Herbert delivers into traffic. And the catch is made by Johnson for a first and goal. You've seen the arm strength. How about the accuracy? Yeah, nice job of having patience, like you said. Look at this move right here. Boy, that's a that's just an understanding between a quarterback and a wide receiver. It's like a bat like playing basketball. He's just gonna work. It's like an option route. Let me work off the defender. You throw off play action. McMillan nearly intercepted. Knocked down by Igbenogany, the junior. Yeah, Igbenogany is outstanding. Long arms, great closing speed. He just shows up here in a minute. Great closing speed. Now, the, the curious thing when you go back and you think about them rolling out. Third and seven. Pocket holds up. And it's incomplete. Here's that matchup. McCleskey to transfer from Oklahoma State. Press coverage on him. McMillan has enough time, and it's incomplete. Just across. Play action. Pocket holds up, and he unleashes down the field, and incomplete. He was rushed a little bit. It's a gain of two. Another quick throw, and a beautiful grab by Mooney, slicing through the defense. Darnell Mooney has a first down for Tulane. Uh, he took that ball away from the defender. And he was working on the guy who's been the best guy out there all week long, Igbenogany. Incomplete. Ig Third and 11. What a jumping grab by Mooney. Wow, it takes plays like that. We talked about the skill, the skill receivers here, and how they have some NFL prospects in Mooney and McCleskey. And they have to make plays like this if you're going to have a Former teammate of Cam Martin in high school in Port Arthur, Texas. Play action. McMillan. Sideline incomplete. Crum on the quick slant, incomplete, good coverage by Noah Igbing Agony. Well, if I was able to play when I was sick, think of what I could do at 100%. Isaiah McCoy makes the catch for a first. Crum to throw. Looking downfield, incomplete. Wanted McCoy. He was blanketed by Igbing Agony. It's great coverage. He's on that high hip. There was nowhere for him to throw it. Violent at the point of attack to break this play up. Watch this ISO here. Gets his hands on him. Nice job of flipping those hips. That's outstanding coverage. Feet from him. He has no brace on. He doesn't seem to be in pain again. He was just winded after that first series. First down completion on the way depleted up front. Here's the pressure. Prom gets rid of it. The receiver fell down. Warming to see a group of people rallying around somebody that they didn't know, but because they cared. Well said. Around Auburn Athletics, have won the SEC. And this is dearly. And on second and nine, here's Beal. Right. It's a power program. They they deserve the, the credit by, for what, how they played on the field. It's been outstanding. On first and ten, complete. Osmond wrestled down. Second and three. Vaughn. Feeling the heat from Derek Brown. Throws complete to the outside. There's Osmond again. From the 50 on first down. Pressure off the edge. Vaughn gets rid of it. 12 seconds. Pressure coming again. Vaughn. Osmond again. Has it inside the 35. 
Jump ball against Iquanagani. Move the chains. That's a gain of 13. So the enemy is down 21-3. I'm going to say, if they're going to keep playing man-to-man -man coverage on the outside, the Austin's going to have to continue to win these matchups here. 10 on the line here with second and 10. Mon, head fake, pump fake, downfield, and it is caught. Mon finds Kendrick Rogers. I mean, that was a that was a pump fake, like a basketball pump fake. That was smooth fabulous, right there. Fabulous play by Mon. Finds Rogers, gain of 17. So into Auburn territory. Nick coach. Absolutely. Jimbo's thinking, let's try to score by five and a half to six minutes. Mon to the sideline. The biggest smile on coach's face right now when he saw that flag come out. Pass interference. Number four, defense. Having placed the ball, spot of the foul with automatic first down. Spot foul because it's less than 15 yards. That's pretty good shove right there on Buckley. B. Now remember, a field goal is okay. It's lined up at the line of scrimmage here. Maybe pass me all our blitz. Here, here they, they come. come. The team didn't come back to it, so that is Chapman, that's the freshman. So you missed Jay Sternberger, I mean, I know it's rather unfair, but boy. He actually had Spiller leaking out there, wide open up the middle of the field, but as a quarterback, you're taught, just retreat a little bit, put some air under the football, DBs aren't looking, see if you can give your guy a chance to make a play on that's it. That's where you would have liked the quarterback to signal just a fade, rather yes. than a double move. Yeah. Get the snap off on second and ten. Mom. First and goal, Aggies. Iquanagany. Great back shoulder right there. Beautiful. Just one-on-one -on -one inside fade. Great job by Buckley getting his head to get to his half. Christian Tuck lays the lick. Mod. Incomplete. The is on the out. On his cart. Empty backfield and trash to throw on first down. A little crossing right, not out there defensively. Five catches, 136 yards and a touchdown. The throw to the outside of Pitts. Good job to bulldog him down to 39. Jones, plenty of time. Going to air it out down the middle. Freddie Swain got a right hand on it. And then a hit. Receiver to the top of the field. But after he sees the quarterback throw it down the middle, there's enough air in it that he can make up the yardage and dislodge the ball. That's a pretty good throw, Gary. It was. I think that ball might have been caught if number four hadn't cut across Freddie Swain. He really would love it. Trayvon Grimes is a motion man. Jones throws the other way. Oh, man, he had Pitts with a half step. Six yards and a touchdown. The throw to the outside of Pitts. Good job to Bulldog. Here comes the heat. He got rid of it just in time. Incomplete. He intended for Tyree Cleveland. See, every throw right now is a tough throw. This this Auburn secondary is going, okay, we've seen enough of this. Because Mobley, number 55, puts the pressure to come around the corner, and Trask has to move up into the pocket, but the coverage, I think, looked good. Each other thinks here's some pressure. The throw is going to be uh, no interference. Okay. Big, big nung, and they did everything yeah. but take his yeah, wallet. He got there just a half step early, didn't he? Here comes a blitz. Rask hangs in, and that's going to be another flag on the same guy, on the same receiver, Van Jefferson. I think Van Jefferson is the best route runner on this Florida football team. Very smooth, veteran football player. Really beats the coverage that time, and there's nothing that could happen but a pass interference on that play. That time he took his wallet and his money. Sure. First down of the 44 of Auburn. Play action. Trask in trouble this time. Throws native of Gainesville. Has the crowd rocking as we start the fourth quarter. And Kyle Trask comes up throwing. Nice adjustment by Pitts to make the catch. Match to the outside, and you just take it and throw a back shoulder throw. Can't do it any better than that. With the brakes on in front of McNogany. <laughs> Throwing on the run and completing it. Out to Josh Hammond. Kyle Trask did a nice job of buying himself some time. He sure did. 
Push from the outside. Forsythe does a good job of cleaning the pocket. Trask feels it and gets it out. They are definitely it's checking. Now the defense checking. Hicks waiting for something developed. Kobe Bryant fan. This time Hicks will throw up to the 30, turning and moving. Been able to do that has had success. Hicks fakes the run, throws, but Knox was covered. Hicks, wait. Hicks, end zone incomplete in front of Tr Denson puts them in from a call standpoint. Hicks incomplete. Away from the bump and run that Auburn's so good at. That stack is Marshall and Jefferson. Burrow wanting to throw again. Does, got it complete. Jamar Chase, first down, LSU. Give that one to the offensive line. Remember all the pressure that Joe Burrow's been on. This time, he had enough time to let that receiver go clear across the field and make the throw. And the pickup. Up and run, perfect throw. 19 to Chase, 29 to Chase, and now Burrow going to the corner for the home run ball. Got it. Touchdown, Terrace Marshall. In That's gear. Defense number four. That really is the climb. The ball can play. Touchdown. It was Chase and Chase and then Terrace Marshall. Back in the lineup today, and he's got a touchdown. We asked Steve Emsinger, what does Terrace Marshall bring to the offense? You see him number six to the outside. He says red zone scoring. He's a big receiver. If Menogany gets out of phase, ends up trying to grab Marshall. It would have been a good thing if he could have grabbed him on the play. And ends up, what a here comes Edwards Elair across. Joe Burrow, the screen. And he's not going to get there. Jamar Chase. Before Next the late afternoon, yes. the night games begin. Here's the RPO throw incomplete in and out of the hands of Jamar Chase. Big Benogany was coming to Alabama. And that matchup is a couple of weeks from now. Whether Alabama will still be under. Cook's going to join him in the backfield. On first down, it will be the quick throw and a completion. Out to the 40. Where do they put pressure? From throws the out, got it complete. Pickens has to fight for the whip behind From. Play action. Jake lofts it to the corner. Touchdown, Eli Wolf. Gage, watch him engage and then fall out. Allows the, the, the receivers to get past him and then falls out into the, into the play. A little bit like Harrion's touchdown, only from a different. Two tight ends again. Najee Harris will flush out of the backfield. On a first down for Mac Jones to throw. Gonna go deep to the corner. Got Devontae Smith, but it's broken up by Edmonogany. The ball was slightly underthrown, and as the opportunity for Edmonogany to come back and make the play. You'll see Devontae Smith beats him easy, and he has to climb back into the defender to try to make the play. And number four, Edmonogany is able to get in there, play the body, turn around. That's some good defense right there. Underthrown ball. Allowed him to make the play. There's our pylon cam look at Igmanogany, the junior yards passing. He's going to throw short again, but it's to Devontae Smith. And we establish him. And we're going to give Matt Jones a shot. Pump fake, deep ball, left sideline. Devontae Smith in stride. Beautiful. They don't. Devontae Smith runs an out and up. Man-to-man -man coverage. Watch him go out and then up. Out, up, and a perfect throw. How about that? They fake it to him. Jones is going deep for Devontae Smith. And complete a flag. Flies in on Igmanogany. Well, I thought he cut him off pretty well there. Igmanogany very upset with that call. Let's see if the two officials don't get together and think about this call. Is it even close to catchable? Uh, well, you never know. There's no foul for pass interference. The ball is incatchable. It's second down. He picks it up. Only a yard. To the 11. So Brian Robinson then there for him. Jones going to go deep near sideline. And out of bounds in 10. We start the fourth with Alabama. With a flea flicker coming up. Mac Jones going deep. Incomplete. Double coverage back there. Henry Ruggs was the intent.
Time this time. And he's got Johnson inside the 20. Tyler Johnson, the Minnesota native, for 17. This is one way to beat press coverage, a crossing route. He comes all the way across the field to run away from the man coverage. That is a good way to help Johnson out. Johnson. Pump and go, maybe. Here comes Davidson. Morgan flushed. And he lets it go. He waited long enough for Ottman Bell to clear, but it's incomplete. He was out of bounds. Morgan's farewell party from high school in Kentucky. Screen pass, far side. Bateman sneaks through. Rashad Bateman. Expecting pressure, and the blitz comes. And then watch Bateman, that explosive first step. He runs through tackles. Guys, coaches who decide to leave and not finish a season with their team. Yeah, that's right. It's individual choice, and you're not necessarily a bad teammate because right. you've decided to pursue all of the money that comes along with the NFL, but you're not dumb for wanting to play with your team in a final game as big as this one either. Tanner Morgan going for a deep shot. We haven't seen that today. His quarterback, enough room to drop that ball in, but he can't because in the Ogany does a good job of squeezing and forcing him to the sideline.